Ah, oh, yes, Wobs. Captain Jeff the Pirate here at Share to Service. I was secretly able to sneak in here to Aperture Gaming to do the pirated edition of Aperture Gaming. Recently, One Piece Pirate Warriors 3 graced our shards. And I got a chance to play it, and I'd be here to be offering my take on the game. This be the third Pirate Warriors installment here that we got. So I played a little bit of it, and I can and I have so much to compare to the previous two entries. Alright. So like the first two, there be the main arc where you play as certain specific characters in certain specific locations. You be following the stories of the Straw Hat crew, from their humble beginnings all the way up to uh, where they've most uh, advanced recently to in the current story. So basically that means that if, if you've played the game before, it's uh, re it uh, once again replays the entire story, so... I'll give them this, they, uh, they do stick to the story, I do like that, so... For any newcomers to the series, it does give you a chance to play the game and see events that have happened from the anime and the manga. But uh, fortunately, they figured, we know that no one's going to be happy playing the story over and over again, so they've included an alternate story, an alternate timeline, an alternate arc, where you can play as Luffy and as, uh, as other characters because you go to different locations, interact, do different events, different times, different things going on. And I kind of like that because this way, they've done this for three stories, so this way uh, the game doesn't seem repetitive because there are some parts that are kind of repetitive. I, I did some checking in, like, uh, now, while the first level you play, the, uh, you know, the tutorial mode, it's never the same level, but the arc does pretty much follow a similar pace. Now, uh, this, uh, now for Pirate Warriors 3, it's available on the PS4, the PS3, and on the Vita. And when I first installed the game, they said, heads up, so if, uh, they, does there be a season pass, eleven ninety nine. And uh, by getting this pass, you'll automatically get uh, all the costumes from the first two games that were on the that were on the PS3. In case now, I'm not sure if this applies to the uh, PS3 version. That might be a that might be a get, letting you get some of the costumes from the previous game. But this be good. Like if you have it on the PS4, then you can get some of the costumes that were unlocked from the previous two. And since it be a season pass, you never know. Will they be adding new stuff, or will it just be? You get the costumes now instead of just buying which ones you want at leisure over the course of the rest of the year. Now, graphically wise, the game looks very similar to the previous two installments. Let's see. Uh, now, it's, it's, I like it because uh, they uh, they included the elements from the previous two games, but also have some new stuff. They also took some stuff out. You once again you're collecting coins to help you beef up your attack. Only also you're collecting Watton posters to try to fill in the uh, the completion marking for the uh, for the level segment. And of course they have the A, B, C, S ranking for at the end of each fight. Very good. And they had the and just like, like you have your regular attack, you have your special attack, and now they have like a super ultra special team crew attack, which is now kind of new for this game. Yeah, so I play I played the game. It it'd be fun. But, and, of course, like the previous installments, this game, it'd be Japanese voice acting with English subtitles. So it is a fully licensed One Piece game, it just hasn't been the fully US licensed. Arr. So, hey, the characters all look, the characters look like they're supposed to, and it is the voice actors who are doing their part, so I like that. I just wish we'd get to a One Piece game, we would get another One Piece game over here, where we got to hear it in English. I mean... Yeah, we have the series going on, it's in English, so I don't think I'm asking for the moon. Arr. And like uh, the previous games, you do have the option where you can go online and battle against uh, other people. But also they have a rescue file where, like, if someone needs help, you can jump in and help uh, them in, with our game. So that'd be an interesting feature. As you build up uh, your crew, you get the berries, to un or the belly, or whatever it's called, to unlock... Uh, Concept art, movies, cost, um, cutscenes, you know, the whole nine yards. So yeah, I like this game. It'd be... 
If you follow in like a pattern with other games, like you get more, it's basically you be getting more of what you get from the first two. Only now for the current, uh, only it's not the current edition, so you get to a little more story, as in figuring out what's going on uh, on the other side, the new world of the Grand Line. So it, it'd be a good, it'd be a hand in hand thing. On the one hand, you get more story, but uh, yeah, you keep repeating the story, that'd be the kind of a problem. But of course, like I said, you have the alternate timeline. So, yeah, I, I'd be, this would be pretty good. So, in honor of uh, the crew of the Straw Hat Pirates, I would be given One Piece Pirate Warriors 3 a solid 9 out of 10. Now, should any of the DLC that be coming out not be costume-based, I'll be reviewing that. I figured I'd just be mentioning it for the season pass because, yeah, you know, you get the costumes, but they... They don't really do anything, it's just a stylistic change for you to choose in the game. Alright, that'd be all the time we have for it. I'm pretty sure Apachire ain't be too happy about me invade in their studios. Until next time, this be Captain Jeff for the pirated edition of Apachire Gaming. Thank you for watching, and as always, Arr.